Hi guys, very good evening to you. Uh, welcome to the video number 258 and uh, in this video actually I'm going to talk about the go to special and uh, I recently have received an email and uh, somebody actually requested it. Um, I'm gonna read out the question for you but this in this video we're going to talk about uh, the two questions which I really find very useful uh, not just from the uh, interview perspective but also you can use it in MIS law you know and I'm sure you must be you must have um, experienced this kind of a issue if you know that that's fine if you don't know that then this is really going to help you a lot so uh, let me read out the email actually I received the email um, this is the actually the first email which I'm gonna write uh, read it out for you um, so uh, Anita actually have written a uh, good day Ajay uh, I have recently appeared for Excel test and faced two questions which I was not able to solve. Sending you the file with questions and data. Kindly do not share the data but instead answer those two questions using your data. Please help. Alright. So thank you so much uh, first of all Anita for writing this question and uh, yes uh, I'm not going to use your data. I have prepared the data. Basically there are very two small questions and uh, it's very um, I mean you know a uh, little unfortunate that you could not find the answer for this though uh, you can go ahead and watch my channel and uh, there you can find the videos uh, some very interesting videos on the uh, online MS training okay uh, these are the this is the playlist uh, which you find on my channel just go there and watch the videos um, you have you'll have your answer but anyways let us go ahead and uh, discuss these two questions and before I start and somebody who is watching the channel for the first time then guys we have here 200 and more than 250 videos and these videos are dedicated to all of you uh, who really uh, work on our, uh, work on Excel a lot and of course uh, if you want to learn the Excel VBA MS Access uh, Access VBA we have everything for you right uh, you, you see that you need to click on the playlist and you will find all the videos here different different categories uh, from the basic intermediate and advanced level just scroll it down and you would I uh, uh, I guess you would find every every subject be it Excel or VBA or Access and this is you know I always start my videos with this introduction so that you shouldn't be feeling you know lost somewhere because if you're somebody who is watching the video on the loops or any any other thing you should know that you know there is a, a good way to start because many of you have asked me in the uh, uh, past that you really looking forward for the basic videos as well because my channel was dedicated to only the advanced uh, you know the stuff but then uh, in the last two months I have really uploaded a very basic videos as well on every subject be it VBA or access or Excel right so in this video now uh, let's come back to the topic and here also one more thing I want to tell you that I have also a playlist which is um, this is the place I, I was talking about Excel demo videos MS training they are very long videos I think 40 45 minutes of the videos and uh, there is another playlist which you should watch which is on the how to crack the interviews okay so let me scroll it down and I'll show you uh, where exactly it is it's uh, Excel uh, access and the VBA interviews uh, maybe it's upward yeah that's the video so we have already got 50 15 videos and you can see that uh, based on the subject line you can choose your topic and you can watch the videos we have the videos on Excel VBA and MS access okay so this video is going to be dedicated for all the people who actually wants to crack the interview excellent interview okay and but this these are the very basic questions actually so the first let me start with the quickly with the first question now um, this is the data I have prepared as per your sheet which you sent so guys in this sheet as you can see I have actually uh, hidden the rows you can see that the second row is hidden and there's another row which is seven and then ten you know and further I can I mean you know hide let's say this row as well and uh, let me hide this as well so the question actually was that uh, how you can ensure that you copy when you copy the data let's say I'm going to copy the data control C and I go in the data sheet and when I paste it it should paste only the data which actually is visible now you see that when I copy the data and paste the data it is pasting all the rows now you must be wondering that you know we have copied only the one two three four five basically five six rows but here you get to see that 11 rows so basically you know what happens actually uh, when you unhide these rows uh, this is exactly your data and this is what it is copied you know but the point is in this scenario we don't want actually to copy the hidden rows hidden cells and that was the question so there's a technique how you can copy the visit 
visible um, you know the cells you need to first select the entire table and then you need to use the shortcut key called control G control G actually is a shortcut key which you use to you know go to the uh, there is a window actually when you press it, it we call it go to special go to right but this if you don't want to use the shortcut key that's fine you can go to the home tab and click here find and select and find this go to special either you click here or here is one of the same thing if you click on the go to special directly it will take you to the window which is a go to special window if you don't click on the go to special and you click on the go to then the next thing which you want to do is you can use the special option and the window would come okay so my aim is to actually go to this window to reach to this window once you have on this window what you need to do guys you need to click on the visible cells only you see the option here right but ensure that your data should be copied first not the copied actually but select it if you will not select then it will not be able to uh, show you the visible cells okay so i press ok now you see that the lines are inserted you know these small lines kind of a selection so now when i copy this i control c it you see that the selection is done the copy the copy operation is done and i can see now the copy uh, it has copied the data in the different different you know parts right and this is not looking like a general copy because in the general when you copy the data generally you find the you know these dotted lines only uh, on the external part on the outer part but here it has copied everything in the parts you know all, all, all the basically your uh, the values which are which which are visible they are copied so now you need to simply go to the data sheet and you can paste the data here so let let me select this and let me paste the data let me do the control v and you see that the data is pasted and now there's a difference between this data and this data right this here i simply use the control v actually which is to paste the data the shortcut key here also i actually use the control v but there is a way of doing that first what i did let me write the steps for you this helped first you select the table you select that table where you have some hidden cells and unhidden cells okay when you select the data you need to use the control G or using the ribbon you can go to the home and you can you need to click to the go to so basically go to special is what we are actually aiming for we need to go to the special when when you have the go to special this window go to special you got to click on the visible cell right now you see that i haven't selected the table so if you do this nothing will happen you see it's going to take the entire sheet and it doesn't make any sense right so you have to select the table which is your target that's very important so i click on the visible cells and once you click on the visible cells bifurcation will happen and then you just need to use the copy the data copy the data using the obviously control c and go to the new sheet and paste the data okay using obviously control v so this is the first question right it was very simple let me quickly show you again i select the data i go to the control g and uh, this i can further go i can press alt s because you see the s is the underline so i don't have to click here with the help of your you know the keypad uh, you can simply click on the alt s it's gonna take you to this and now using the down arrow i can go i can using the right arrow i can you know move in this direction so it's all up, uh, up to you how exactly you want to do but the thing is i only want to use the visible cells only and i'm going to press ok the moment you press ok you need to copy the data and now i'm going to go on the another sheet wherever i want to copy paste the data i just select the cell and paste the data as simple as that right all right now this is the question number one uh what is the next question which is uh, i found it very interesting this is to uh, this is the sheet and where you can see guys you, you have the constants and uh, there are some errors which you can see like this error and this error and then uh, i have also you know written some formulas here as you can see in this cell b2 where i have the formula so the question is how to highlight the errors now this is a the question is asked in your interview but i must tell you this is also a very useful option 
when you work in your data where you have the errors and you want to find it out now just imagine you have a data of 2000 rows right and uh, you got to simply find it out where exactly the formula is giving error you just want to check so that you can work on each cell one by one so if you just try to find it out it is going to be very difficult like here you have the error here you have the error you know but if you can just use this option which i'm going to tell you it's going to make your task so easy so i select this entire part again first i select the entire selection because my focus is only on this sheet right, on this area of you know this sheet uh, but if you want to i mean do this on the entire sheet you can select the entire sheet as well or in fact you don't have to select the sheet at all right but i'm going to select only this this much of the sheet and then what you need to do again you need to go to the control g control g go to the special and here guys you need to click on this formula in the formula what you want to highlight now formula can give you a number takes logical errors whatever there are so many things because formula when you work on the formula formula gives you back some value right so we need to see that whether the value is is number or is the text or logic or error but anyways uh, in this video because your question was on the error i'm not gonna talk about the rest of the things uh, i'm gonna talk about the only the errors so you just keep your errors on and rest of the uh, you know these features you can off it just uncheck them so when you click on the errors now now see that press ok and there we go you see that it has highlighted both the cells so this is also highlighted this is also highlighted because these are the formulas which are giving the error now what you can do is obviously you can bold them or italic them or you can give them any color so that when you you know select any other cell you should be knowing that where exactly the errors are coming now guys this is a very simple sheet uh, here i have just written the yeah, because this is a dummy data right so here you can see it very clearly you don't have to use this option but just imagine if you have a sheet where you have so many errors you know one error is here for example let me create the error so i'm going to create the error zero by zero okay zero by zero if you divide zero by zero you get the error right so i'm just going to write here again one more formula equals to let's say eight by zero this is also going to give the error and then let's say eight by zero again so i mean i'm creating these errors right now let let's say i want to find the errors in that entire sheet so i just simply write control g i go to the special and formula and in the formula i uncheck everything and i keep my errors on and i click ok now you see that they all are selected this is also selected this is also selected if, if i scroll it down you see that everything is selected wow this is really wonderful right so what you can do you can quickly you know give them some color because the moment you select the any other cell you will be out of the selection and then you will not be able to remember what all cells were there right so now if i click anywhere at least i know the cells which are yellow i can zoom in the cells which are yellow you know there we have the errors so in this way you can scroll it down and you know uh, these this yellow color is going to be visible very easily and then you can go back to those cells and you can see that you know what exactly is wrong with them and you can rectify them so this is how this is the way you can actually um you know find out the errors and there is no need to write the vpa that go to every selling you know and check no we're not gonna write that because this is the direct feature coming out of the go to so these are the two questions and uh, i hope now you understood thing uh, and uh, you know understood the things and uh, in case anyone um, anyone you know having any issue please leave a comment and uh, anything if you also faced in your test where you were, you know, were not able to really crack the question or maybe if you have found something really very interesting and you, you, you were able to solve it out then I think you should share it. So just send those copies with me and I'm going to share your you know the file and the data and the questions with the rest of the you know with all basically the community and with everybody uh, so that everybody can see and everybody can gain the information. So I'm signing off guys and uh, I'm going to come back with some more interesting stuff. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that and uh, I'll see you then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.